Space, the final frontier, a vast expanse filled with mysteries and wonders. It draws us in with the promise of new horizons and secrets. The unknown drives humanity to explore and expand, but space is harsh and unforgiving. The vacuum, extreme temperatures, and radiation make it perilous. Mars, our red neighbor, presents unique challenges that test human endurance and ingenuity. Could Mars become a graveyard of human ambition? Abandoned equipment reminds us of the difficulties. Or will it be our next home, proving our ability to conquer the unknown? A thriving colony symbolizes our potential. Understanding Mars's deadly challenges and overcoming them is key. Scientists and engineers work tirelessly on survival strategies. Mars' thin atmosphere, frigid deserts, and radiation pose significant threats to human health. The rocky terrain and dust storms add to the challenges, making stable habitats difficult. Survival on Mars is a hard-fought battle. With determination, innovation, and collaboration, we can turn this desolate world into a new frontier. Mars greets us with a thin atmosphere, barely there. The planet's surface, a desolate expanse of red dust and rock, stretches out endlessly, shrouded in haze. The horizon, though captivating, holds a silent warning. It's 100 times thinner than Earth's, mostly carbon dioxide. This thin atmosphere offers no protection from space. Solar radiation bombards the surface, and temperatures swing wildly from heat to cold in hours. For humans, it's a death sentence. The air is unbreathable, and the lack of oxygen would render us unconscious within moments. The environment is hostile, a constant reminder of our vulnerability. No casual stroll on Mars without a bulky spacesuit. These suits, though marvels of engineering, are cumbersome and restrictive, making every step a laborious effort. The weight of the suit, combined with the reduced gravity, creates a surreal experience. Imagine stepping onto Mars without a suit. The very thought sends chills down the spine. The surface, though seemingly solid, hides dangers invisible to the naked eye. The lack of air pressure would cause your blood to boil, your lungs to collapse. The human body, designed for Earth's atmosphere, would be torn apart by Mars's conditions. It's a stark reminder of our fine-tuned existence to our home planet a quick silent death under a pink sky. The Martian sky, with its eerie pink hue, stands in stark contrast to Earth's blue. It's a beautiful yet deadly reminder of the alien nature of this world. This is the reality of Mars, a stark contrast to Earth's blue skies and gentle breezes. While Earth nurtures life, Mars stands as a testament to the harshness of the cosmos. It's a world that challenges our existence, pushing the boundaries of human endurance and ingenuity. Yet, despite its dangers, Mars continues to captivate our imagination, a symbol of the unyielding human spirit and our quest to explore the unknown. Mars is a frozen desert, a world of extremes. Temperatures plummet to bone-chilling lows, far colder than even Earth's polar regions. Average surface temperature? A frigid minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 62 degrees Celsius. Imagine the coldest winter you've ever experienced, then multiply that by 10. That's Mars. Exposure means frostbite, hypothermia, and eventually death. Staying warm is a constant battle, a matter of life and death. The sun, our life giver, is also a source of deadly radiation. Here on Earth, our atmosphere shields us, but Mars has no such protection. The surface is bombarded by cosmic rays and solar flares, invisible bullets ripping through our cells. Imagine your body slowly succumbing to radiation sickness, your DNA unraveling, cancers could develop, your immune system could collapse. It's a slow, insidious killer, and on Mars, it's a constant threat. Spacesuits and shelters, our only hope? To survive on Mars, we must become masters of technology. Advanced spacesuits are our only defense against the lethal atmosphere and radiation. Think of them as personalized mini-Earths, providing breathable air, regulating temperature, and shielding against harmful rays. But spacesuits aren't enough. We need shelters, habitats designed to withstand the Martian onslaught. Imagine sealed domes, underground bunkers, all designed to replicate Earth's life-sustaining conditions. These structures are our lifelines on a hostile world. From Earth to Mars, a perilous journey. Getting to Mars is no walk in the park. It's a six-month journey, at best, through the vast emptiness of space. Imagine being confined to a cramped spacecraft, bombarded by cosmic radiation far from the comfort of Earth. The psychological toll can be immense. 
isolation, confinement, and the constant threat of equipment failure can test even the most seasoned astronauts. And if something goes wrong, help is months away. It's a journey fraught with danger. Building a new home, brick by Martian brick. Once on Mars, we can't rely on Earth forever. We need to become self-sufficient, a true Martian colony. Imagine extracting water ice from the Martian soil, using it to grow food and generate oxygen. We need to mine resources, 3D print habitats, and develop sustainable energy sources. It's a monumental task requiring ingenuity, innovation, and a pioneering spirit. We are not just explorers, we are builders, architects of a new world. The Mental Toll of Mars Living on Mars isn't just about physical challenges. It's about mental fortitude. Imagine the isolation, the confinement, the knowledge that you're millions of miles from home with no quick way back. The lack of familiar sights, sounds, and smells can take its toll. Communication delays with Earth can breed a sense of detachment. Maintaining mental well-being is crucial for mission success and long-term survival. Why even go? The lure of the red planet. With all these challenges, why even bother with Mars? Why invest billions of dollars, countless hours, and immense human effort into reaching a planet that seems so inhospitable? Why risk so much for a desolate, unforgiving world? The surface is bombarded with radiation, the atmosphere is thin, and the temperatures are extreme. The answer lies in the human spirit, our innate drive to explore, to seek out new horizons, and to push the boundaries of what's possible. It's in our nature to wonder what's beyond the next hill, the next ocean, the next planet. Mars represents a new frontier, a place where we can test our limits and expand our knowledge. It's not just about the destination, but the journey and the discoveries we make along the way. Mars represents a new frontier, a chance to learn about our solar system's past and to understand the processes that shape not only Mars, but also Earth. It's an opportunity to search for signs of life, to answer one of humanity's most profound questions. Are we alone in the universe? to search for signs of life, and to study the planet's geology and climate, which could provide insights into Earth's own history and future, and perhaps one day to make it our second home. Imagine a future where humans live and work on Mars, where we have established colonies and are thriving on another world. It's a challenge of epic proportions, requiring innovation, perseverance, and international collaboration but it's a challenge that could redefine humanity's place in the cosmos. The journey to Mars is not just about reaching a new world. It's about inspiring future generations, advancing science and technology, and uniting humanity in a common goal. Mars or bust? A question for humanity. Colonizing Mars is not a foregone conclusion. It's a choice we must make as a species. Do we have the will, the resources, and the commitment to make it happen? Or is it a bridge too far, a dream that outweighs the risks? The decision to go to Mars is not just about scientific curiosity, it's about our future as a species. It's about whether we choose to remain confined to our pale blue dot or dare to venture outward to become a multi-planetary species. A future written in red dust. The story of Mars is still being written. Will it become a testament to human ingenuity a symbol of our ability to overcome even the most daunting challenges? Or will it remain a barren outpost, a reminder of the limits of our reach? The answer lies in our hands. The future of Mars, and perhaps even humanity's future, depends on the choices we make today. Will we rise to the challenge and claim our place among the stars? Only time will tell.